Good morning, guys. So, um, I am on my way to pick up my girlfriend, and um, we are gonna have brunch today with Joe and Danae and um, some other people. And today's kind of like a off day from the gym, so I'm gonna take you through, you know, what I do today, pretty much, and and. Um, I don't really have any plans, just kind of going to brunch and then, I don't know, you know, just see where the day takes us. And I know for sure I'm going to clean my house today because it's a mess and, you know, my brother and I live alone, so it's a big house and, um, you know, when there's two guys, things tend to get pretty messy, so... We're gonna go to brunch right now. We're gonna pick up Jessica first and then go to brunch right now. So, I'll see you all there. We are at this society right now. And, um, getting some brunch. Never been here before, but it's pretty nice. Pretty freaking sweet. Got my boy Joe, number 16. Food is ready, guys. I had the grilled pesto chicken sandwich with sweet potato fries and a order of fruit juice, like carrot juice and everything like that. Got uh, some grapefruit juice, very healthy, with the side of champagne. Prickly pear. What'd you have, babe? Uh, what is this? Chicken salad sandwich? Macro friendly or what? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 30 minutes after we finished the brunch place, we came to Chinatown because we wanted some Chinese food. And uh, we're here at Food Food Cafe. It's like, um, one of my favorite places in Chinatown, and we're having some food again before we get some other stuff. And then we're gonna actually probably go grocery shopping in Chinatown to buy some more dumplings. It's a Sunday Friday, guys. <laughs> Back for round two in the Chinese supermarket. The lady and, uh, is still here. The dumpling lady that Joe talked to in the last video, she's here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this time we brought some new, some new faces. We brought Danae and Sienna and my babe. What ones do you want? Any? It's their first time, guys. I'm gonna slack off a little bit. She's going ham. Only five. Literally, like we went to, <clears throat> we went to a place called Dis Society, and then we went. Literally, right after Dish Society, we went straight to Fufu Cafe. Right after Fufu Cafe, we went straight to eat gelato. And I'm so full right now. Like, I I literally and I'm about to implode right now. But we're here. I know we're getting some groceries. And uh, just, just groceries for the week. Pretty much just dumplings and, like, I'm just, like, I feel like I've just cultured Joe so much. It's so different, but so cool, you know? And, uh, just opening them up to different cultures and and uh, my side of town, which is cool because you like it's addicted. Yes, I need another one. Well, I wanted two. Why didn't get two? He's like, I only got two. You got that side. Wait, these have mushrooms. Some good oh. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Got it. We got our dumplings. Do you have the sauce? Oh yeah, we need the sauce. Hey, amateurs. Hey, Joe. 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 Go to go to Suzanne. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna need two of those. <laughs> two sauce for two bags of dumplings. Joe, ask her the exact same question. What would be like the best crab? Do you want one? Joe, like, apparently just inhales this dumpling sauce right here. Wait, how do you do it, bro? How do you do it? He's a veteran here now, guys. He knows everything. He knows where everything is. 
Hey, how are you feeling about this right now? Why? Well, I mean, I like seafood. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, The blackfish. I know what it looks like. Evil. These are pretty. These are so pretty, guys. <laughs> Daniel just gets like. Those on camera. Here we see a young Daniel Hong in his environment, Chinese supermarket. He's loving the <laughs> So, I'm home now. And I was actually originally supposed to go to my parents' house to eat some dinner, but I felt like there's some stuff to do around the house, meaning clean up. And I really don't have time on the weekdays to clean up, as you guys know. I work um, kind of nine to five, and then get off work, go to the gym, and then uh, work again till about one, or 12, and then go home and sleep, and then repeat all over again, Monday through Friday. So usually on the weekends, I like to go out and enjoy you know I, i'm not the type of person to <clears throat> really stay home just because i feel like i could be a lot more productive and i feel like i can't enjoy myself if i'm home all the time so brandon came over to uh help me move some furniture back into my living room back into my living room because it it's, it wasn't there so you know my brother and i live together and so it's just the two of us guys and we're a bit messy and my brother's not the type of guy to really clean up. So, <laughs> uh, Brandon helped me move some furniture back into my living room. And so I'm gonna cook him a meal, because he's on, he's on prep mode right now. He's on prep mode. Five weeks, babe, let's say exactly. Five, five, or, yeah, six five, six, six weeks out, and uh, he's looking solid, looking pretty solid. You guys will probably see him in uh, my videos coming up, because he's, he's gonna start uh, posing in front of this camera right here when he becomes less fluffy so he won't less fluffy, <laughs> less fluffy. <laughs> and um, we're gonna have some chicken and broccoli but the American style I'm not gonna cook any Chinese style chicken and broccoli for him just because uh, for macros sake so I'm gonna have some dinner and uh, show you guys how it looks like so bro <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know when you're on contest prep guys so bro. when you're low on carbs for the day and your broccoli platter is bigger than your chicken platter. Oops. <laughs> yeah, so broccoli compared to chicken. Camera's fogging up. But yeah, guys, that's Brandon's meal. And obviously mine's going to be a little different. A, a little more of each <laughs> in each. But we got my chicken cooking up right now. Got 13 ounces of chicken breast tenderloins here which is about 80 grams of protein. Um, and I'm gonna do about two servings of cheese, which equates to uh, 12 grams of protein, so 80, so 92 grams of protein, um, with about six grams of protein in the broccoli. So close to 100 grams of protein for this meal, because it's Sunday, and this is my only my um, third, but first real meal, so um, just, cooking at home usually when I cook at home you guys see that when I do cook at home everything is pretty clean as opposed to um, obviously eating out but yeah guys so that's it and just gonna watch a movie and chill and just relax before the week starts so today is Monday we are here at fitness connection different gym today but I am with my boy Brandon, who is five weeks out and six days, and we are training chest and push day. So we're actually gonna do like this is not our first move. We're actually doing some pre-exhaustion, and he has me doing I think four to five sets of uh, pyramiding, kind of moving up, and then we're gonna do some incline dumbbell.
first exercise here, I uh, did about four warm up sets. So, yeah. First three set here, so I'm gonna do uh, six sets of eight. And I got 90s here, just kind of getting back into it, but Brandon's pushing me, so let's go. Alright, guys, so today, um, with this workout, you know, I was working with my friend Brandon, and you know, during this clip, Brandon was about six weeks out, and you know, he's just naturally vascular, guys. And no, he's not on any performance enhancements, he's 100%, you know, drug free, natural pro uh, bodybuilder, you know, and he's about to do his first show, and he is looking incredible, guys. Uh, I think about, you know, in this video, he was about 159 pounds, I'd say. And, you know, he's not even shredded yet, guys. He's just, you know, naturally vascular, so it just looks a bit different. And this just goes to show that everybody's body type is so different. Because when I'm shredded or when I'm super lean, you know, at single digit body fat, I don't even have this many veins, you know. And I'd say, you know, in this clip, he was about, uh, give or take, about... 10 to 11 percent body fat maybe even 12 you know and he's not even vascular he's not even shredded yet guys so wait till he gets shredded and so first exercise we did here was incline dumbbell press and you know I, i've been working out with brandon for quite some time now and you know obviously back in the day it was a lot more however you know brandon is one of those guys who's just a naturally strong guy um you know well, if you guys are wondering, Brandon is 5'6", and he's 159 pounds right now, and he is insanely strong, guys. So when I'm training with him, I have no choice but to train heavy on free weight movements, that is. Um, when it comes to machines and everything like that, we tend to go a little lighter and focus more on the muscle group itself. So we hit, I think, four sets of incline dumbbell press and actually got to the 110s, but I don't think I recorded it because I forgot. You know, I was just two in the zone and forgot to tell him to grab a uh, the camera. And so after that, we moved on to the hammer strength incline press. And then after that, we moved on to the something, a different variation. Now, Brandon likes to do a lot of flies. And so in just a minute, I'm going to kind of describe what I'm doing. So check it out, guys. All right, guys, so the third exercise here after um, the incline hammer strength. So what we're doing here is kind of a little bit different. As you see here, there's like a preacher bench where we do preacher curls at, but we are doing incline flies on it. So a little bit differently, so I'm just going to lean back on it, and Brandon's going to get it back here. So like I said in the commentary, we're doing some incline dumbbell flies. Now, we're laying on this preacher bench um, that you would normally do preacher curls on for your biceps and so You know, I, I it's kind of strange, but you know the gym was crowded And so we got a bit creative with it and you know kind of stood up and so Brandon's doing just a bit of flexing here So give Brandon a thumbs up guys, and you know, he's working real hard and check this out guys when I say vascular I mean <laughs> vascular this is insane guys, and you know Brandon has been working so hard you know, obviously to get to this point, he's working even harder to get to um, become stage ready. And so, you know, I'm so proud of him. You know, he's come so far, you know, ever since we met just a few years back at our old gym, one to one. Um, you know, we've both grown so much. We've both lift, started lifting a bit smarter because we learn from our mistakes. And so, um, you know, back onto the workout, we moved on to this you know this chest fly machine which was probably the best fly machine i've ever done in my entire life honestly like i'm not even exaggerating this thing is just oh my gosh just perfect on all levels you know you know when you you know when you're in the gym and you find this one machine that you just love so much you just want to do tons of sets well that machine did it for me <laughs> so we moved on to after we went to um you know i, I was i told brand i was like man Let's stop doing flies, let's do a little more pressing. So we went on to this flat bench and we didn't go too heavy, just 50 pound dumbbells. And we did, you know, kind of one or two second pauses on the bottom and explode up as fast as we could. So we did three sets of 15 on this. And you know, obviously just very light, but really just controlling the weight and pushing our 
pushing some more fatigue on our chest, you know, really just activating the muscle. And yeah, Brandon's not in a surplus right now, so muscle growth is, you know, not relevant. However, for me, it's different, you know. I don't have a strong chest right now, and I'm still in my bulking phase, so I'm still trying to get as much gains as possible, guys. So, moved on to some dumbbell lateral raises after this. And, man, it's just, it's mind-blowing, guys, how, how freaking vascular he is. Honestly, like, I don't even think I'm that fluffy, but, you know, when I'm standing next to him, I, I definitely feel like that. And so... Um, back when I competed, he kind of felt the same way, but, you know, it's only a matter of time, guys, before I start competing again. I cannot wait, guys, to show you the shreds, when I bring on the shreds and, and start a brand new series, which I don't know the name for it yet, but we will find out, guys. And, you know, after this video, or after this day, the next day, I'm going to hit you guys with a huge surprise, a big reveal that everyone's been waiting for. So stay tuned to find out, guys. All right, guys, just finished the push workout with Brandon. Hope you guys all enjoyed that epic footage. Um, solid chest session. I, I feel like I really, truly always have a good workout when I'm with him. Cause like, we don't talk during the workout. We just train and go. We just train and go, train and go. And we kind of keep rest to a minimal, which is, you know, how I like to train, especially when I'm training heavy. And, you know, it really keeps you in, in focus and gear and really, you know, just driven on it. And so we actually hit a pretty high volume workout. I didn't get the triceps because we're, you know, going back and forth in the gym and, you know, I didn't want to take up too much time because we were hitting triceps and everything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed that. And uh, that's going to do it for this footage, guys. There we go. What's up guys? So uh, I'm gonna do something that a lot of people have been waiting for. So pretty much uh, about a week and a half ago, I traded in my E63 and I got a new car. And if you haven't seen the Christian's video, he kind of did like a half second sneak peek of my vehicle. But here it is guys. I got a 911 Carrera 2013. I bought it used. However, um, you know, it's, doesn't matter to me I usually like like buying used cars anyways but it's a 2013 Carrera guys and I love it so I named her Caroline and here it is guys so I know everyone's been waiting for it but I wanted the right moment to show you guys and honestly I wanted to show you guys when it was clean not when it was dirty so That's how you know um, here it is and uh, if you guys like it Leave a comment in the comment section below if you like Porsche or whatever kind of car fan you are, but that's it guys. Everyone likes Porsche. That's Besides okay. Christian. Come on! Go! 
right guys, so just finished with the workout and uh, four guys here trying to take a kitten out of their car because apparently a little kitty has crawled into the engine bay and won't come out so they're trying to get it out but they or it won't come out so that's why I'm a dog lover you know honestly like if it was a dog Oops, sorry sorry so if it was a puppy honestly it would have came out like years ago but since it's a cat eh, won't come out, so just finished the workout right now and uh hope you guys all enjoy the footage So funniest thing is, you know, <laughs> there was a freaking cat that uh, climbed into Christian's car, and and you know, it I don't know where it, we don't know where it came from, but in the morning it crawled into uh, Tim's truck, and then you know we got it out, and then it went straight into Derek's car right after that. Just we scared it out and went under Christian's car, and so. Uh, you know, Christian didn't drive it out. Obviously, he just parked it into, uh, you know, inside so he wouldn't kill a cat when he was driving. But, like, all in all, I think, like, two days later, the cat finally came out, which was, like, a big relief because, you know, we didn't want it to die when we were freaking driving. And so, um, anyways, the big reveal. You know, I, I really hope that you guys like my vehicle. You know, I, I don't want to showboat it. I don't want you guys to feel like, hey, you know, Daniel's a show off or anything like that. Check out Derek here, making fun of me. Um, but, you know, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm a show off. You know, I, I, I want you guys to see it as a step in, in my journey towards success. You know, I, I don't want you guys to feel like, hey, you know, oh, Daniel is, you know, getting this from his parents or anything like that. No, guys, you know, I bought this myself. And I want you guys to think that I'm relatable, you know, that I'm, I'm 24 years old right now and anybody can do it. You know, if I can do it, you can do it. And so the point of that is, you know, I want I want to be honest with you guys. I, you know, I bought the car, but I wanted to showcase it, showcase it at the right time. You know, I wanted it to be clean and everything like that. But I've already posted on social media. So if you follow me on, you know, Instagram, you've probably already seen it. And so I hope you guys can be happy for me, you know, um, just, oh gosh, guys, I'm not, I'm never satisfied, you know, I'm not going to be satisfied with just a Porsche, you know, I'm, I'm always going to work towards more and not that I'm taking it for granted, but just never be satisfied, guys, always have a higher goal, you know, this was my dream car, you know, when I was 16, when my dad bought the same vehicle, obviously an older model, but, you know, I told myself that I would do it one day and, Lo and behold, you know, at 24 years old, I reached one of my life's dreams, guys. But, you know, I, I'm always going to try and stay humble as best as I can, you know, because that's the important part of it, you know. And I'm still out to change the world, guys. Not, not change the world as in, you know, um, start a revolution, but, you know, inspire people you know inspire people that you know not just to work out but to really change their mentality on life and and just to become a better you you know become better than you were yesterday as cliche as it sounds guys and so that's the note i'm gonna end it on and that's gonna conclude this video um i want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the amazing support and i'll see you guys all in the next video love you guys and don't forget to hashtag hongfit and all your progress photos, guys. And remember to tag me. Love you guys. See you guys next time.